Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. The Saginaw Crow Society is inviting you to an afternoon around the campfire for a special performance with a very special guest. And joining us this morning to tell us more, we have our great friend Bonnie Van Voorhees from the Saginaw Crow Society and a special guest this morning, Jonathan Rand, who is an author. Both of you, thanks for being here with us. Good morning, Glad thank you. Here. Yes. So, Bonnie, uh, what can people expect this year from this Campfire Stories performance? And how did this kind of come to be? Well, we had done this before, it was about 17 years ago with Jonathan. So mm -hmm. um, we thought this would be really great to come back and combine storytelling and music so we were excited to do that he was willing to come and join us mm -hmm. his campfire stories are awesome so <laughs> Jeremiah our artistic director um, put some music to go with those stories nice. and we said this will be perfect for kids and families and great entertainment yeah so Jonathan tell us a little bit about yourself and a little bit about your work too yeah I started writing uh, books about 25 years ago and the uh, the campfire chillers that will be uh, performing I wrote a series called creepy campfire chillers mm -hmm. that are just kind of stories that are five to ten minutes long and um, uh, Jeremiah kind of put them together with music and sound mm -hmm. effects um, and it just kind of really took off and it, it, it allows the audience to to kind of experience the mm -hmm. stories in a different medium it's a lot of yeah. fun yeah and Jonathan this isn't something that's necessarily new it's kind of making like a return uh, tell us what made you want to participate again with this performance of with the Saginaw Choral Society yeah you know, there's a couple things I, I I really do enjoy although it's not really I'm not I don't uh, do this very often but mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun and yeah. it's, it's, it gives me a lot of energy to, uh, to do something like this but it also it, it broadens the audience it, I think it helps people who are reading and, and beginning readers understand that uh, these stories can really come alive on stage. Yeah, and both of you can answer this question. Why campfire stories? Why do you guys like campfire stories so much? <laughs> well, because Jonathan <laughs> writes like Michigan chillers. If you've never read them, they're, they're pretty awesome yeah. and scary. So we thought, that's going to be great. You know, yeah. sit around the campfire, you tell those ghost stories. Mm -hmm. So yeah. he's a perfect medium. Yeah. <laughs> and I just love the whole, the whole, I remember growing up and, and being around the campfire with my family or mm. friends, and we would take turns telling stories and mm -hmm. scare ourselves silly and yes. it just kind of takes me back to that time so I'm a big kid at heart yeah it's so nostalgic just yeah. being around yes. like a campfire is yes. yep. always such a yes. good time for everybody yeah. so Bonnie tell us how can people attend this concert they can call the temple box office and um, or go online and purchase tickets through the cool. temple website so nice. um, that's the easiest way yeah. and they will also be available at the door so we make it even Perfect. easier so nice and time and date for the concert there is one this Saturday okay. which is the 19th uh -huh. and at 3 o'clock at the Temple Theater and then if you miss that one we are going to have a performance at the Bronner Performing Arts Center in Frankenmuth oh, also at 3 o'clock on the 20th on Sunday nice Jonathan anything okay. else you want to add it's gonna be a lot of fun yeah, yeah it really is. <laughs> hope you see a lot of people yeah. yes anything you want to add Bonnie? no we, we just hope you come and experience it and we're looking forward to um, seeing how it all pulls together yeah it's gonna be a good time <laughs> yeah it sure is yes and you can find more information in a hot link section of our website www.nem.com.